Wait. Hey there guys, it's Alex, and this is a game of Search and Destroy on Wasteland for Modern Warfare 2. Um, so my class for this game, which you'll see in a second, is the uh, Scar... I don't know. I think I'm having trouble choosing. Right the Scar with Bling, Heartbeat Sensor, Silencer, uh, Secondary G18s, Kimbo, uh, and Cold-Blooded in and everyone already knows about uh, what setups should be with Modern Warfare 2. No point in talking about those, I'll just try and focus on the gameplay. So lots of people try to snipe on Wasteland, uh, search and destroy. And uh, I don't know, I have bad experiences sniping when it's just kind of over long areas and scoping in for a long time. Uh, so what I like to do is kind of maintain, try to maintain the area right here, the underground little bunker area. And just kind of hunker down and wait till some people die. And uh, then start to make moves. I don't like to uh, be out in the open when people are sniping at the very beginning. You know what to and do. someone gets an early plant off on us. And uh, that's the bomb site that's a lot harder to get uh -oh. to. Uh, the bomb site harder to get to, I but it's right. easier to defend for them. And uh, less expected. And there I miss a kill if I just finish him off with the scar until I get a gun. Oh my god, it's a good thing that guy killed him. So, yeah, it's easier for them to plant the A bomb site, but, uh, Everyone's dead. Looks like we're probably gonna get the defuse here. Uh, yes, so he defuses the bomb, and I'll uh, win the first round. <laughs> and thank god he doesn't mess around with the bomb too much. He just does a plain defuse, doesn't mess around too much, that's good. And I know uh, people don't really like the heartbeat sensor, but. Uh, uh, this game is far past its prime, so I don't. I really don't think anyone should care anymore. Also, the fact that if you're gonna complain, you complain about the heartbeat sensor when people use one-man army danger close and uh, the grenade launcher. I don't really see why you complain about something like this. You just put on ninja, and you'll you'll never see me. Or I'll never see you. I mean. So see, there's someone who was not using ninja, and I see the heartbeat sensor there. I'll kill him. Two guys actually. So be careful. And I come out, try to get him, but I get flashed, and uh, take out that guy right there, the G18s, and then they kill me. Uh, so I'm not sure how long this round ends after I die, but uh, we'll probably have to watch some uh, some other people's gameplay. Oh, okay, it was a good thing he was fast. So he tries to quick scope and he gets killed. Too bad. And you can see, I think one of their guys is 3 0, so that probably means that he has uh, UAV. So it would be a good time to yeah. shift into my UAV class, or um, cold blooded class, but I'm already just using that as a precautionary kind of thing. Also so I don't get seen by thermal snipers, which I don't think there were any, but uh, I was just being cautious. And, uh, oh, whoa, I got this thing. So yeah, just doing the same thing, going back under, uh, into the bunker, and uh, the thing about search and destroy is they don't make it even. Uh, so you'll either play three defense rounds in a row, or you'll play three offense rounds in a row, and then they'll switch. And uh, in some maps, it's pretty lopsided, where defense is a lot better than it's a lot better to be on defense than offense. So you get that advantage for three whole rounds. It should really switch every other round. So uh, you get offense, then they get deep, then uh, you get defense, and uh, kind of like a pattern like that. Just because some maps are really easy to defend and uh, hard to attack, uh -oh, excuse the team, uh, huge mantis. But um, on the subject of round changes, uh, after you play those three rounds on offense or after you play those three rounds on defense, you really do get used to uh, your opening pattern. And uh, switching to offense after being on defense or vice versa it can be kind of uh, can be different. So you won't really know what to do, whereas for the last three rounds you've probably been doing uh, something that's um, kind of similar. Uh, one thing about opening routes, which is kind of where you go when the game starts, is uh, if you get killed in one area, what you should do is kind of go back to that same area, but um, but uh, be there and be in, in a place where you, can, where you have the advantage of them. Uh, that could be like using cover properly or something Alex, like that because they'll often want to come back because they think that they can get that kill again and if maybe you got there faster you'd marathon a lightweight and you you sit up and you yeah, waited for them they'll probably come back and they'll be able to get the kill on. The heck? and uh, that's so something that happens to me well. sometimes is I'll kill someone and then I'll go back to the same place and they'll be there waiting for me and uh, kill me so 
uh, that works both ways, and uh, it's a good tactic. If you get killed in some, if you get killed in a place early on in the game, uh, try and go back and set up and wait for them, or try to just get the advantage. So when he comes by, you can kill him instead of the other way. Sierra is able to pick up the bomb here. Uh, it's being cautious, calling my camera UAV. I don't think they had UAV up. Uh, I've actually taken off counter UAV uh, just because oh, uh, wearing cold blooded isn't too be... much of a problem. Uh, and there I get pretty lucky that he doesn't double kill or like get a triple or something because everyone was so close together uh, with the credit missile. But uh, yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Never mind. So just uh, waiting for the heartbeat sensor to show something. I play Wasteland pretty patiently because if I run out, I'll get shot by a sniper. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, just kind of waiting out, uh, waiting it out, because you have to have patience to play search and destroy, and uh, lots of people don't, and they'll come looking for you, and that's always a good thing. And that goes for all search and destroy, Call of Duty 4, World of War, you know, all the, all the Black Ops, I guess. And there I got my Predator Missile, so it uh, looks like I'm going to use it right now. I was just checking there to see how many people are left. And I think I missed this. Yeah, I missed that. That's the word. Uh, yeah. But I know that there's one guy left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get the plan off on them. And planning gets you a lot of experience in this game, so... Um, if you pick up the bomb, try and plan it. If you're still trying to level up. So I remember I saw him way, way in the back next to the helicopter pad, which is, I think, where they spawn. So I remember, um... Thinking that he'd probably come around this way instead of going down the, the middle underground area. So I just hope he doesn't have Ninja on and I just kind of uh, sit up and wait for him to come by. And 20 seconds in there I see him. And uh, pretty sloppy shooting on my part but I'm able to get him. Uh, that's nice. Although it was pretty bad shooting. He probably should have got me. A little bit off. And uh, I think that that's my last kill, so I'm not really sure what this last round is all about. But I'll still die in this one. So... Yep, just doing the same thing I was doing the other rounds. Just kind of go into the center area. And uh, there can be snipers over where I am looking. And I don't want to take another death, so I'm being cautious oh, lying down and not just sprinting the whole time. Letting some of my snipers get in position so they can uh, win at least suppress them so I can get to this area right here. And I see the heartbeat says there's a guy in there. Uh, so just be real cautious about going in there. And uh, I really don't want to die again. But uh, it looks like he moves a little bit, so not feel safer. This round. And just going back to that same spot I've gone to the, the other times. And, um, oh, we get the plan off an A, and, uh, we have a fair amount of our team, we have, like, looks like almost oh, all of our team left, and there's the game, so, final score is, uh, 8 kills, a death, and an assist, and Dakota gets the final kill with the G, he's probably the best secretary So, uh, thanks a lot for listening and watching this video, uh, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and, um, just thank, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. It was a lifetime ago.